Okay, Ebony the King's Return. This will be my first video that I've made about this game. Um, so first I have to tell a quick message to uh, to the people that have uh, been on my YouTube channel before any time in the past is if you are going to check out this uh, game before you do, the very first thing you should do is go watch a video um, by one of the best YouTuber providers of Ebony videos, which is Genghis. His channel's Gaming Addicts with Genghis. Note the word addicts. Um, and you could probably just search for one word, Warzilla. So just like Godzilla is spelled Warzilla. Um, he does an interview with that guy of like 40 minutes. And they talk about all the aspects of this game that are uh, not be beneficial to the player base. I'll put it that way. Because this game is, I mean, the level of FOMO in this game is like way beyond things, I, anything I've ever seen before in my life. It's crazy. I've played a pay to win game before. I've spent over a hundred grand in three years on the game uh, Hero Wars, which is just a web-based game. They don't even have a standalone client um, for PC. I started, I'm, I'm a big PC gamer. I started playing on PC. The games on my channel for everybody else are, uh, I'm not a frequent uh, YouTube content creator. I started this channel back in like 2015. I made some videos about, uh, Diablo 3 while I was live streaming on Twitch and then I just quit it all together. My channel was vacant for like five or six years and the last couple of years I started making just a handful of videos over a span of months about EverQuest, a few about Diablo 4. I played EverQuest for like 22 years or something, over 20 years and that is not a pay to win game whatsoever. You can buy like cosmetics in that game and that's virtually it or maybe some larger inventory bags so you can hold more items. But the best stuff in the game is all found from playing. You pay like maybe $150 for the best expansion order once a year, and that's it in that game. Um, but I've been playing, okay, so now for everybody that's an Ebony uh, player, I'll just, I'll show you where I'm at. You're probably curious who this is. Should you ever, if I make any following videos, it's my first video. If I make any following videos, um, you might want to know who is uh, who is talking because I'm not going to make a video about a game until I feel like I know something about about the game and I might be able to make a video about something that someone else hasn't talked about yet. I'm not going to repeat the same thing. There's a lot of stuff out there about this game. This game's like seven years old or eight years old people have been playing this game for a long time like pretty much everything especially older players the way they have this set up there's over it's over 1500 servers in this game there's like they have like the way it's set up is they have continents of servers that have like 200 or 300 servers per continent so when you end up competing in a lot of things like they have battlefields and wars and stuff. You only have to fight the servers in your continent that were all hopefully, you know, created in, in the last same few years as yourself. Um, but where where I'm at, I've been playing, I think it's in Prosperity that it says how many days you've logged in. Okay, so log in 100. I've played every, I've logged in every single day since I started playing. So today is my... 128th day so that's how long I've been playing um, here's some of my uh, my monarch uh, gear um, if you watch this is a mainly mobile game or I think it was a mobile game for the majority of its time before there ever even was a PC client so a lot of the videos on on um, Ebony are like super fast. People will just be scrolling through their phone, tapping on screens, like talking about everything super fast. So this video might be a little slow for you, how I go through stuff. Um, but this is what people want to know that are um, our current Ebony players. I'm trying to make this first video about people that have been on my channel before, don't know anything about this game, and for everybody else too. But you can have uh, sub 
cities in Ebony, where you have entire cities that have their own troops and their own buildings, and they can be of different cultures. You can see how these these things say different um, different names of cultures that they are. Uh, there is uh, there is Europe, there is Europe, China, Japan, Korea, America, Russia, Arabia. You can also like right now, my, this is my city that that we're in right now. The world map is is here. So my city is just a small city and you can have there's so many different castles and ways your city can look and castles that you can own. So for me, I've never played a game like this whatsoever, like dating back. I'm 40, uh, turning 44 years old this next, this next uh, few months. I never played a game like this my whole life, like dating back, you know, dating back to like Sim City or like uh, Civilizations or StarCraft II. I was never interested in any of those types of games, like build your city, build your troops, build, collect your resources. I think I played, for those who are a little older, I think I played Theme Park on the Atari Jaguar in like 1997 or something like that. But <laughs> forgive me, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting over the flu. I've been sick for like four days. But um, yeah. I, I never was into a game like this, build your troops, build your city. Um, but I'm, I'm real, I'm real into this game. It just immediately got me hooked. As soon as I started playing, uh, I've done, I've done every cake since I started playing. So one thing they do in this game, you can see this pop up, this hundred dollar package, every single, virtually every single time you go to the world map and you come back to the screen, to, to, to your city screen, this is gonna pop up. Now you can see it says seven days left. But they do, they do events, some 12 day long events, and then they usually have like a three or five day event, but they'll do a 12 day event. Um, here you can see all the special things going on during the 12 day event. This will bring up the package of all the things that contain in it, in the package for night, for you know a hundred dollars but at the same time at this times two it's going to have some coupons that you can use now they're going to give you they're going to give you 11 of these coupons a double right and a triple so everything on the listed in that pack you get you get twice as much of well this this event goes on for you know an overlap of almost two weeks right well they're going to give you 10 more of the double coupons on the second weekend and there's, and uh, basically until, until like a week and a half ago, I had used for a, for a 99, you know, purchase, I had used every single coupon I'd ever gotten up until, so now I'm just going to do it for the cakes. I'm just going to do the cakes from now on and nothing else, but I was also spending, you know, during, uh, during the three day and five day events, I'm not going to do that anymore. I was just spent. I was spending way more than, you know, beyond my means by far. I've sold like, I've sold like 50% of the stock that I used to own in just in these last couple of months. So I need to cut down a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll just keep, okay. So I, again, back to the idea that people are interested in, in what, I, what I have. So I'll look, trying to think what people usually show in their videos to show their monarchs. So I'll get set. I have them all unlocked 17, 18, 16, 6, 9, and 5. Um, I have I have my victory column at level 5. I just have uh, I just have a bunch of generals at different star levels. So I need one more, you know, full star, um, full star uh, general. <sighs> um what did, I, what did I want to show? Oh, yeah, show my subsidy star generals. So I just need one more copy of Zizka to uh, to four star him. Thinking about it, I was like, you know, after after I did this, I went full in on purchasing Zizka with all my packs last time. But thinking about it, I was thinking, well, because how many Zizkas is it? That's, that's two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. I was like, man, I could have had seven Ziskas and put put one on seven subsidies. Maybe I should have done that because he's like the best range. His main skill is the best best range troop debuff. Like it's really good, right? And range troop siege machines defense and hit points. Like his main skill is like so baller. I was like, man, maybe I should have just had like seven Ziskas and put them all on my subgens. But I'm not gonna have I. I don't know. I, I, I really probably should have done that. But um, anyways, these are my subsidy gens. Baldwin's done. Mark Anthony is a little hard to get. Eon Gasselman, I don't know. I just, I had a lot of blood of Aries and yeah, I don't know. He might be, he could be a general. I'll probably never do especially. He, he could be a general that I dismissed, get all those blood of Aries back one day. Um, I've got... Yeah, so I'm missing, you know, Amir, Al, Ivan, Asp, or whatever. I don't have Narciss. I don't think our our, our uh, server ever had a chance to get Narciss since I've been playing. Um, who else am, am I missing? Oh, Cena the Great. I've had multiple chances to get Cena. I just, I didn't feel so hot about him. Um, I did Tavern a lot, refreshing it, but for some reason I never bought this guy. I think he's real good. I don't know. I don't see a lot of a lot of top players using him that make videos, but his main skill is all troops attacks and all troops hit points. I mean, it's eighty percent. Just his main skill is. I think that's pretty good, and you can get him from the tavern. So I'll probably try to focus on trying to get a bunch of heralds. And I also didn't buy enough neuros when I was going through the tavern, so I can go through the tavern someday and get heralds and neuros. So those are my. Uh, those are my subsidy generals. I guess the best way to show my overall generals is to go to ranking. I am the biggest vendor on, on this server, server 1468. Um, yeah, so I have Napoleon Prime done, Palace done, except I'm missing her skin. I just need uh, two more copies of Mahay to finish him, to make him red, which is full star general. Uh, for those that don't know anything about uh, Ebony. Um, Leonidas, although I'm going to, I have enough uh, copies of William Marshall to full star, to full star William Marshall. I have exactly enough. Like I was, I got that Taki Naka Shigiharu general as his sister wall general. And first I checked to see if he, you know, stacked with Leo the third's buff, but he doesn't, but he does stack with William Marshall. So I had William Marshall. I didn't even star him up to easily see, you know, how many fragments of him I did I had. But then I just checked on the on the wall one day to see if his main skill stack, and it does stack with Shigiharu. So I was like, oh crap, let me star this guy up so I don't have to search my inventory forever for the frags. And I had exactly 450 of his frags, right? So you need 16 copies of a general. So 450 frags. I was like, I, I could full star William Marshall. So I'm probably gonna swap out. Leonidas to William Marshall next. We just had a trial of Knights event for a return of Ares now, um, Blood of Ares now. I'm ranked one in that event and I will be first conclusion. So I'm just going to wait and I'll, I'll full star William Marshall for the next Blood of Ares event. Um, but yeah, I do have, I do have all of my, uh, all of my subsidy generals are in full Parthian gear other than other than uh the last one because i just hit vip 18 like six days ago or something so that unlocks one more subsidy general or one more subsidy which you can sign one more subsidy general so his is arch but you know it costs very few resources to uh upgrade from arch to parthian it costs a lot to upgrade imperial to parthian because it, dragon gear doesn't cost a lot to make, but upgrading arch is very cheap, so I'll, I'll do that anytime. And they're in full Parthian. It's kind of mixed. I think I have, uh, I've si I think I have six of the, or how many? It's eleven subsidies. I think I have seven range debuff, and then, and four or six, six and five. No, I think it's six and five. I have six debuffing the range, uh, six of this type and five of the other. So I didn't go full range debuff. I'm, I'm kind of mixed. I'm still, you know, at just 127 days. 
I am uh, I am uh, I, I mean I don't, I don't know how to evaluate how well I'm doing. I never played this game before or anything like it before, but I got two Japan sub sub cities and one and one uh, gold Russia. Per this color where it says the name, that's the quality of your subsidy. The, the ones in yellow are, are uh, legendary and uh, they're the best. So I'll be swapping these out sometimes. I've been trying to trade at anyone for a few days now. Like I'll trade you both my, I'll trade you a purple Russian and a purple Japan um, for either a gold Russia or gold Japan. I don't know why anyone would do that, but if it's like one player that just has like one subsidy and they never plan progressive having 10, they might do it, but I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get that done. And uh, yeah, I'm keep, uh, I'm keep 30, uh, I'm keep 38. Oh, I guess I should, I guess the easiest thing for me to show is my, is my detail for my power. So um Technology power, 88.7 mil. Um, resources, uh, what else is, what someone would want to look at. Oh, I can show, I can show a battle report that will show my, uh, that will show my buffs. I should have one saved. They probably want to know what my total buffs are. So the most recent one, 12.9. Is the most recent one I have saved? Oh no, 1228. Okay, that's fairly recent. So if you go to troop buffs, oh, this was me attacking. So it's only gonna show the percentages of, of whatever I was attacking with. Um, it's only gonna show the percentages of whatever I was attacking with. Hold on. I think I wanna show a defensive, a defensive hit then. Uh, what was I attacking with? Oh, my range. That was, I, I saved, this is my save there. I saved that one because that was, uh, I thought that was a pretty good hit for power exchange. Um, I only have a few things that I've saved. You just, you get so many mails, like so much spam mail is ebony. It's hard to keep track, but you can save stuff to what you want. But I don't think I have a recent defensive defensive one save. So that's almost a month ago. Um, here, let me go to PVP reports. Oh no. I must have deleted them all once. All right, let, I'll just, I'll, I'll go to that, that one defensive I have so we can see troop buffs. So those are my percentages as of a month ago, you know, all of them have been increased you know, a bit. Um, these are the things that, you know, people that have, that are Ebony players, they, they want to know what these, uh, what these numbers look like. And uh, yeah, I already talked about who my generals are. Oh yeah, my civilization here. So I have three sets completed. Civilization equipment. I'm going to be completing Sasanian, uh, this, this cape. So I have uh, I have Corio, um, Rurik, and then uh, uh, Hayam, 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 Hayam. I guess you can pronounce it several different ways. I don't know, but I got three piece Han and three piece Fur and Kazan. I don't really know if I want to get. You know, I have the pieces on the right. I'm not really sure I want to get the ones on the left. I think I want to do uh, either Aztec. I think I want to do Aztec next or Aztec or Bourbon. I don't have a PVP set for um, for Mounted or Aztec. And I had done Han and Fur and Kazan first or the easy pieces to get. It won't, it won't matter as far as completing the set because the hard piece is over here. You're only gonna, I'm only gonna get one every two weeks or more. So it doesn't matter that I have three pieces of Han and uh, Fern Kazan's al already. But yeah, I was thinking Han would be Mountain, Fern, 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 Fern Kazan, Fuk Fukurani, 
freaking Heisen? Oh, where is it? Oh, for, yeah, Fern Kazen. That sounds like a good pronunciation. Yeah, I got three pieces of that, three pieces of uh, pond. But there's like so many different mixed troop types in all these pieces. Yeah, they definitely can't be the best for pure mounted or pure uh, pure ground. So yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to do the Han Dynasty next. I do have, uh, I don't have rank two or rank three, but I do have rank one, or I do have rank two of the Athens Castle, and I have which comes with the buff, and I got rank two. It was really hard. I had to spend more than all the coupons, but I did get rank one of the of the uh, the Napoleon Castle. What's it called? Bonaparte? No, that's his last name. What's his castle called? I do. I've got the permanent pyramid, so I've got that, and then I've got uh, yeah, rank one of the the last cat, the mounted. I didn't have a good mounted attack uh, castle yet, so I so this one's this one's pretty good. That's why why I wanted it. So I do have that. Oh, I click. I click use, but I guess it already shows that I, it gives me the option to click use if uh, if I do have it. So that I didn't need to, I didn't need to click use, but um, I, I wish in this list it only showed the ones that you had because having to scroll through all these that I don't have is kind of a pain. But yeah, it was, it, you had to spend like so much more than just spending the coupons. Like I refuse to do that. Like I am not gonna do, purchases without a double like $99 pack purchases without a double or triple down coupon I just refuse I'm not going to do it unless it what unless it's like the VIP packages which you can't apply double down coupon on I'll do that but I'm, I'm just I'm not going to do it oh and I'll show my uh I mean, my, my Senate isn't developed hardly at all. I guess I can show that. Um, rank, rank three, rank three. I don't have that unlocked yet, and I don't have Siege Machine. Because you have to get Victory Call to level to level six in order to uh, go any higher. And I just, I've never had enough generals where they're red starred to where I can, uh, to where I, I would have red stars here. So those are the promotion levels there promotion levels there and then um yeah i'm still trying to figure out what's the best way to get points in battlefields like uh you need some practice to you know just get in the building and with one troop i i've learned all this stuff in the last like four months like i made so many mistakes playing in the last like three or four weeks like there's so many things to know about this game to maximize your resources that you're going to use it's ridiculous so I had like face palm after face palm moment every single day going on for like three weeks or more straight um, about, oh my goodness, I should always use the academy first. Oh, I could have swapped to this to increase the speed up on that. Oh yeah, I need to always check my monarch gear before I, and, and my civilization treasure before I upgrade anything. <laughs> like there's, there's so many things that I didn't know. So this is my first, I feel like I know a little bit about the game now. I've spent, you know, I've spent at least 10 hours a day for 120 days, you know, playing this game, researching stuff about this game, talking to people about this game, um, talk, you know, asking questions about Ebony. Like I've, I've definitely asked people more questions about Ebony than probably anyone on the server. Now, and that's why I spent the majority of the first, like, maybe three months playing doing because like every time I had any question about anything before I write an alliance chat I play on PC I didn't type really fast and uh I just ask him ask him what's this cute what's cute like there's so much stuff I can tell you some like people that have played have seen I can tell you some stories they would they would think were absolutely ridiculous that I didn't know and for how long of a period of time I didn't know them, and I'm still learning stuff but that's my first video um just kind of about who i am as a player probably no one's seen my content on uh my channel as it's not a popular rise channel and everquest is not a chain oh you know you know it's not a game that has a lot of players or people watch content for on a routine basis or anything like that very 
very low video counts on any EverQuest video on YouTube. But and I'm not a uh, I'm not a, someone that reoccurringly and frequently on a weekly, daily, or even monthly basis makes a video. Um, so my next video will be about blazons, how to go through them, because I did recently go through something like. This was before they changed them to now, you know, there's 299 per stack, but when there was 199, 199 in a stack, I went through like, see, now I only have, now I only have, where is the place? Let's, yeah, I only have one stack of, oh, now they go to 399 per stack, but yeah. When it was 199 per stack, which they've done a couple upgrades, they went to 199 and 299, and pretty fast they went to 399. But when they were 199 per stack, I had something like 35 stacks of them, and I just I'd held off on going through any of them because I was just confused about it. But um, I I went through all of them. It took me hours. And through the process of doing that, I found the most efficient way to uh, to go through blazons. Like if you're a coiner, especially if you're a newly a, a newer coiner that hasn't taken the time to uh, to go through blazons, and you have a ton of blazons that you're just like you're just like uh, hesitant to start working on, and you know pushing through. Um, uh, the next video I make. When I have a, a decent amount of blazons, is I'm going to uh, I'm going to make a video about blazons and how to go through like the easiest way to go through you know a ton of blazons at once. So I do know how to do that, and that'll be my next video. And I'll I'll definitely be talking about some stuff that I haven't seen anyone else talk about in uh, in any other videos. So yeah, I'm here in the priestess, I just have my first one of attack. The second one's uh, the second one's defense, and then for mounted, both of his both of his different sets are uh, for attack. One's for monster, and one's for one's for uh, PvP. But um, yeah, you know, you can see I I only going through all these. I only had a couple of going through that many stacks of blazons. I only had a couple that I hit a third, you know, a second and a third buff. Or a third and a fourth buff that I wanted, like the ones, the ones that I hit that on, I took them to twenty, and out of all of them, I only have, I only have three blazons that I took to twenty. Going through, like I don't know how many I want. It was like, it was at least thirty-five stacks of one hundred ninety-nine. Going through all those, I only got three blazons. Like this is, that's that that's the good one. These two are just kind of like mixed. That's my most preferential stat, like the pure defense hit points or like marching takes effect when you attack and when you're rallying, when you're reinforcing, when you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Marching is really good. But the the pure one takes effect like when you're getting attacked, also. Um, you know, if you don't have most people don't have time to swap their plays on if they're gonna get it attacked. The biggest thing in this game is to make attacks. But um I, I'll take either one. So this one's range troop. And it's also got, I'll, t I'll take either marching or the base attack uh, defense. This one, I just happened to get lucky on this one. And um, yeah, I got, that's probably what most people would consider to be, be a perfect blaze on. Um, and then I just, you have to reset for that level 10 one so many times that I just, yeah, I, I never even got, uh, or I took this one to 15. Didn't didn't luck out for the for the level fifteen one, and yeah, I only got or oh okay yeah I got I got um some mountain ones that that were okay oh that one that one I can actually I can I can level that up to twenty but I don't really care about my mounted I'm already taking first place for the alliance boss damage and for the world boss damage on my server. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's probably the most things, that's probably all the things that people that, uh, that play Ebony would want to know about, about my account, and, um, yeah, they can make their decision if they ever want to watch another, uh, 
video that that I make, you would have to uh, you would have to subscribe and turn on notifications for my channel if anything about you know me talking through this stuff probably a little slower man manner than most people. You would have to subscribe and turn on notifications because I might not make a video about blazons or anything else for another month. I'm not a frequent uh, content creator. So uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this. And uh, if you don't like it, subscribe. No problem. I don't have a lot of likes and I don't have a lot of subscribes. So it is what it is. Have a good one. Happy New Year.